trouble in Asorok. As powerful politician Farid Sunubu praised tribunal removes him as president very soon. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The camp of President Bola Tinubu at the Aso Villa, as well as the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, have engaged in a media war with a top politician in the country. According to the report, the president and his party have blasted Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, over the ongoing legal battle at the Presidential Election Petition Court, PEPC. Atiku recently raised an alarm, accusing Tunubu of trying everything in his capacity to undermine the Nigerian judiciary as well as democracy. The former vice president reportedly made this known in a statement signed by his media advisor, Paul Ibe, stated that, undoubtedly, the election that brought the current government into office is the worst in the annals of democratic politics in our country. He said, he proceedings on the controversial February 25th election continue at the courts. There has been threat from the ruling party that that aim to intimidate the judiciary from serving the duty of justice. It is regrettable that the APC, and indeed, the agents of President Bola Tinubu, have carelessly or ceaselessly chosen to stand in the way of justice by making catastrophic threats to anarchy if justice is not served according to their whims, he added. However, in their response, Tinubu and his party described Atiku's words as nothing but arrant nonsense, claiming that the former vice president is trying to save face from his impending defeat at the tribunal, having failed to justify his bogus claim that he won the last presidential election. Felix Smoka, the APC spokesman, made this known in a statement made available to the newsmen, stressing that, without a doubt, Tinubu won the last presidential election. He said, Quite frankly, there is nothing in Atiku Abubakar's statement that is what reaction from the APC. It is just arrant nonsense, totally lacking in uh, substance and cogency. Added that it is only marginable purpose in a childish attempt to float and a leap to defeat the shame of a highly probable defeat in court, having miserably failed to make out a credible case to justify his bogus claim that he won the last presidential election. <laughs> I served in Adamawa when Atiku was the vice president. There are no roads to villages, no portable drinking water, no class classrooms and teachers to educate the future leaders. It was in these the same states I saw ladies half naked sitting in the villages who are in SSS class in the afternoon without feeling is absorbed all because civilization is lacking. How can such a person come to lead us as a country? They divert roads to their own hometowns using influence. He has cheated the people of Adamawa. Okay, someone just dropped that. Tunubu is better than him. Just two months, everyone is weeping. Atiku and Obasan just stole the future of Nigeria by selling its assets to them themselves. Atiku built Abart American University, where only rich kids of the politicians can afford 
and Obasanjo built a farm where majority controlling are Indians and foreigners to the detriment of the country aside massive lands he collected to themselves in his in this justice. So why is Article complaining they should go and prepare for another election after four years and stop wasting money they would have used to feed people? If anybody should come out to say he wants to rule us, let's verify their previous political six was their action just before we even follow them, talk less of voting them for election. These are reactions from Nigerians. So we have checked, verified Obi is capable. The first ministers and House of Assembly salary needs to be cut down. It's too much and unnecessarily wasting funds. We have to stop and channel them to necessary channels. Never in the history of Nigeria have a respondent, both Atiku and Tinubu are birds of a feather. All this country needs now is good leadership personified by the person we voted for, Peter Obi. What we are suffering today started in 1999 until today. We still own debt that should not have existed between because they looted our funds and, and using it to oppress us today. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. What's your take on this? Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.